What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about OS X El Capitan and what's new and what new features were added and just the performance of the whole operating system itself. First off, we have a completely redesigned new experience. OS X El Capitan gives you a much simpler way to browse your favorite app browse your favorite apps, work in multiple apps, even just searching for information in Safari, taking notes, checking your emails, and just, it's such a good operating system, I think more than ever, you're able to do multiple things all at once at the same time, and still be focused on what you need to do. Second thing I want to talk about is performance and speed. Now, with this operating system, the performance and speed alone is very good even if your computer is an older one and you update to uh, OS X 10.11 you get a much faster and fluid uh, it just processes everything much faster than it ever has uh, you get fluid graphics and games uh, high performance apps even just opening PDFs or emails is just very, it's so much faster than it was before. And with Metal for Mac, you get such a better graphics, uh, clearer graphics, and different games that are on the Mac. Next thing I want to talk about is Split View. Now Split View is a easier way of doing multiple, running multiple apps at the same time. You can choose however many apps you would like and it will fill your Mac screen and you're able to browse your Twitter feed while you're working on a video. You can just do anything. Like I just love it. Uh, when it comes, when the public, uh, when it's available to the public, this is something I'm definitely going to update my Mac to. I just feel like it's, it's such a good operating system for multitasking and they've just made it so much simpler to use. Now with Mission Control, it makes it so much easier to organize all of your open windows into a single layer without being stacked or hidden. It makes it easier to find all of the websites or what pages you're on or what apps. It could be anything and it doesn't hide itself so you know where everything is. And with one single swipe, all of the windows will go into a single layer. Now with Spotlight and El Capitan, it is so much easier to find all of your files in your own natural language. You're able to view weather reports, sports. Uh, you can look for your files and it will show uh, the date and everything. You can search for photos in October. You can just do whatever you'd like and it understands more clear. And now you can also resize the window to get more results and drag it anywhere on your desktop screen. Next we have mail. With mail and El Capitan you're able to juggle all email conversations all at the same time and they're more organized so you know where everything is and it's just so much easier to use. And now you're able to go to your inbox and send copy, copy and uh, send attachments between uh, conversations and you don't have to close out of one of them, you can do both. And if you're using uh, multiple email threads, you're able to switch back and forth between either one you would like to. Now with Note, you're able, to, they've added a few new features such as making a checklist, which I don't think is a big improvement, but if you are really like to be organized and on top of your to-do list, you're able to check things off as you go, just like in iOS. So now they've brought that to the Mac and you're able to have the same features on both devices. Now with Photos, uh, OS X El Capitan uh, supports third-party extensions for photo editing tools and different things like that. So now with Photos, you're able to do more than just import and 
create photo albums and stuff, you're able to add textures to your pictures, different filters, and just do way more. So it's similar to iPhoto, but just a lot more advanced. Now with Safari, you can access all of your favorite websites and have them all open through pen sites. Next up, we have Maps. Now with Maps, in, in this update, we, are, are, we can see transit for buses, trains, ferries. It will give you the best routes to wherever you're going to, how long it will take from point A to point B, uh, and which route is the best to take to get there faster. So Maps doesn't really have that much of a big improvement, but there's a few little new uh, features to it. I just wanted to quickly just go over what was new in this uh, operating system. If you like this video, like this, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for new videos every Thursday, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.